This morning, I'd like to share a story with you that uh, we had a chance to share on Friday evening. And it's about a teenager, 17-year-old Brian. He was asked to um, write a very special project for class. The subject was, what was heaven like? Now, this was the best thing that Brian had ever written, but it was also the last. He wrote an essay detailing an encounter he had with Jesus in a fire room. Now, Brian died in 1997, two days after Memorial Day. He was driving home from a friend's house. His car ran off the end of the road, and he struck a utility pole. He emerged from the wreck unharmed, but he stepped on a downed power line and was electrocuted. Brian's essay, The Room. In that place, between wakefulness and dreams, I found myself in the room. There were no distinguishing features except for the one wall which was covered with small index card files, like the ones in libraries that list authors by title or subject in alphabetical order. But these files would stretch from floor to ceiling and seemingly endless in either direction had very different hands. As I approached the wall of, wall of fires, the first to catch my attention read, girls I have liked. <laughs> I, um, I opened the file and um, began flipping through the cards and I shut it quickly, shocked, shocked to realize that I, I, I recognize the names on each one of the cards. And then with, without being told, I knew exactly where I was. This lifeless room with its small files was a catalog, a, a, a crude catalog system of my life. I mean, here was written actions of my every moment, big and small, in a detail my memory could not match. Oh, oh the wonder and the, 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 the curiosity uh, coupled with horror um, stirred within me as I randomly began opening the files and, and exploring the contents. Oh my, I mean, they, it brought such joy and, and some brought sweet memories and while others brought shame. And regret so intense, I... I would look over my shoulder to see if anyone was watching. A file marked friends was next to one marked friends I had betrayed. Oh, I mean, I mean the titles, they, they ranged from the, the mundane to the outright weird. Um, um, uh, books I have read, um, lies I have told, um, Comfort I have given, uh, um, uh, the jokes that I've laughed at, and then some were almost hilarious in their exactness, of uh, uh, things I have yelled at my brothers, and then others I couldn't laugh at, things I've done in my anger, things I muttered under my breath of my parents. Uh, I never ceased to be surprised at the content Often there were uh, more cards than I had expected and sometimes less than I hoped. I mean, I was overwhelmed with the sheer volume of life that I had lived. I mean, could it be possible that I had the time in my years to, to fill each of these thousand, maybe even millions of cards? But yet, each card 
confirmed this truth. Each was written in my own handwriting. Each was signed with my signature. I uh, pulled out a file titled TV shows I have watched. <laughs> I, I realized that the file grew to contain its content. Now, the um, cards were packed very tightly, but after two or three yards, you know, I still hadn't come to the end of the file, so, so I slammed it shut. I mean, shamed. Now, not, not so much by the quality of shows, but by the vast time that I knew this file represented. When I came upon the file marked Lustful Thoughts, Ooh, mm, a, 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 a chill just ran through my body. I, um, I opened the file on only about an inch, not willing to test its size. Um, and I drew out a card, and it, oh, 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 I, I, I just shuddered. I, I shuddered at the detailed content. I, uh, I, I, felt, I felt sick just to, to think that such a moment had been recorded. I mean, an almost animal rage broke on me, and only one thought dominated my mind. I, 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 no one, no, no one must ever see these cards. No, no. No, no, no one must ever see this room. I have to destroy it. In insane frenzy, I yanked the file out. Its size didn't matter now. Yes, I had to dump the cards and, and burn them. But as I took it at one end and I began pounding it and pounding it and pounding it on the floor, I couldn't dislodge a single card. <sighs> I became desperate. I, I reached down, I pulled out a card only to find it as strong as steel, as strong as steel when I tried to tear it. Defeated and utterly helpless, I, I returned the card to his file, its slot. And leaning my head against the wall, I let out a long sigh. And then I saw it. It it bore the title. People I have shared the gospel with. Huh. Oh, uh, oh, the handle on this file was, it was brighter than all the other ones around it. Uh, newer, uh, almost unused. I, uh, I, I pulled on this handle and I, it was a small box. Not, not more than uh, three inches long fell into my hands. I, I could count the number of cards it contained on one hand. Oh. And then the tears came. I began to weep, sobs so deep that it hurt. They, they started in my stomach and they, they shook all through my entire body and I fell to my knees. <laughs>